I am Anil Kumar and with the help of this video we will understand the strategy to factor quadratic equations with the help of complex numbers. So we have two examples here. The question is use complex numbers to factor the following. We have a binomial 9x square plus 4 and a trinomial x square plus 4ix minus 3. Let us see how to factor them. Let me first discuss with you the strategy. Now, in complex numbers, we have, let us consider two complex numbers, a plus bi, and the other one as a minus bi. If we multiply them, what do we get? Let us multiply and check. a times a is equals to a square, a, then we get minus a bi. When you multiply bi with a, you get plus a bi, and here you get minus b square i square correct now i square is minus 1 so a square minus a b i plus a b i is 0 so you get minus b square times minus 1 which is indeed equals to a square plus b square do you see that now we have this in the form of sum of squares not difference of squares but we can use product of a complex number with its conjugate to get the same result so it is product of conjugates of a complex number and that helps to factor, correct? So that is the strategy here. So we can write 9x squared plus 4 as 3x. We could say 3x plus bi. So in this case, 2, right? So square root of minus 4 is 2i. You could think like this also minus 4 square root is equal to 2i. You can think like this also, right? And then use uh, difference of squares which you learn, right? But we will use 3x and 4 could be written as 2i, right? So we could write plus 2i complex number times 3x minus 2i. So that is the conjugate. When you multiply these conjugates, you will get sum of squares, right, which is 9x squared plus 4. Do you see that? So that is what you get. So this could be written as 3x plus 2i times 3x minus 2i. Correct? Now let's do the other one, which is, in this case, some of you can follow this method also. We could write 9x squared plus 4 as equal to 3x whole square minus 2i whole square. Do you see that? And then apply the learned method, which is this. So we could write this as now equals to 3x plus 2i times 3x minus 2i. So that is another way of doing it. I hope either way. So either you could use the property that product of conjugates will give you a square plus b square or you can use the property of a plus b times a minus b equals to a square minus b square by substituting this part, right? So either way you could work on it. Now let's look into the second example. We are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 3 and whose sum is plus 4i. So clearly the two numbers are 3i and i. So if I add them, I get 4i. But if I multiply 3i with i, I get 3i squared, which is minus 3. So it works, right? And therefore, we can write this trinomial as x plus 3i times x plus i. And that is the factored form. Now, it's a good time to check and verify. Let's check. So let us expand this. So if I expand, why, what do I get? I get x squared plus xi. Multiplying by 3, I get plus 3i plus 3i squared, right? Now, x squared, xi plus 3i is 4i. Okay, so I, I forgot to write. 4, 4i x and this is 3 times minus 1, correct? i square. 
So this could be written as x squared plus 4ix minus 3. So we get the same thing. So that is verified, correct? So remember, since i square is equals to minus 1, we can now factor sum of squares also, correct? So as a practice, you can have few questions. For example, you can factor 49 square minus 16x square. Rather, let me make it plus, right? In where x belongs to complex numbers. Not real, sorry. Complex numbers. So you can do this question on your own. 49 square plus 16x square where x belongs to complex numbers. Thank you.